How, how will we see Norman evolve in season two? I mean, for sure, we'll we'll continue that descent into Psycho. I mean, we know what Norman, who Norman Bates is going to become, so so there'll be a continuation of that. There can only be a continuation of that. I think also we'll perhaps get a growing sense of self-awareness from him of who he is, his personality disorders or who he might become. What's it been like for you to step into this world? It's, uh, it's fun to go back into it. Because you do the end of season one and it's kind of a nice finale. You think, oh, we hope we come back. And then you get to go back and pick up where you left off. It's, it's great. When it comes to uh, TV, we see a lot of video games from TV shows. What would the base motel video game be? I don't know. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you'd have as the hero. It's the nice thing about the show. You don't know who to root for. You don't know who to um, who's the person who's the least stable or most stable. It kind of constantly changing. You know, the show is always is always suggestive as opposed to being conclusive, and that's what makes it exciting. Taxidermy, maybe a video game, mini game. Yeah, how to learning how to pin put pins in dogs or or yeah. <laughs> so you're a big FIFA gamer, right? Too. That's right. Yeah, no, FIFA is probably the, the the game I I mostly I mostly partake in. Yeah, FIFA. Well, there's always the debate between FIFA or Pro Evolution, isn't right. it? But I'm probably more on the FIFA side. You get to play in between when you're on set. I don't really play on set. No. Um, there's also a game called Football Manager, which is a, uh, a game that's great but takes up a huge amount of time. Uh, and so I try and avoid that now, the fear of being addicted and, and, and won't be able to do anything else.